Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State has harped on stakeholders and community collaboration to combat the scourge of crime in the society. Obaseki, who also expressed the need for communities to share information to deal with the issue of insecurity across the state, with security agencies say that security must be localized if it will ever be effective. The governor was represented by his deputy, Comrade Philip Shaibu, stated this on Monday in Ovia North East local government area of the state during an enlarged town hall meeting to find a lasting solution to the security situation in the area. He reiterated that his administration believed that security must be localized to guarantee the safety of lives and properties. Hence, the setting up of a security network to assist the police in the fight against crimes and criminality across the state. Governor Obaseki maintained that community policing would give more sense of security to the local dwellers, adding that such arrangement would integrate the mainstream security agencies as part of the neighborhood through the exchange of vital security information. According to him, efforts of the government can only yield the expected outcome when community members assume their responsibilities by furnishing security agents with useful information that could lead to the arrest and prosecution of these criminal elements. Edo State is known for its great sense of hospitality where we welcome people, but some elements are trying to invade our midst because we are accommodating. We must collectively resist any such attempt by aligning ourselves with the goals of promoting a strong community neighborhood through timely information circulation, the governor submitted. He therefore urged members of the community to re-enact old values where government properties in their domain were protected and guarded against vandalization. Emphasizing the importance of the masses as the real government, Obaseki posited that the elected officials of the state are just leaders of the government. Development in the community are brought about the taxpayers' money as such. We must claim ownership of government efforts to give value to investment and avoid allowing others to destroy government properties and development in your environment. When everyone guards his or her streets and every community member protects the community, then the local government will be safe. And once our local government is safe, we all will have a safe, fast state. That is the essence of collaboration he further posited. Earlier in his remarks, the Edo State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Philip Ubadu, noted that indigents of the community had a responsibility to protect their areas and appealed for useful information stating that arrangements had been concluded to include all interested groups in the security arrangement. A community leader in Ovia Federal Constituency and security stakeholder in Edo State have agreed to empower and equip the various vigilante groups in the area to arrest the spate of kidnappings around the Benin or Expressway, the top police brass disclosed. On his part, the coordinator Edo State Security Network, Haruna Yusuf, said the state government had bridged the gap of quick response to security issues with the establishment of the Edo State Community Vigilante Network as an intervention to community security concerns. Head of the various security networks in Ovia Northeast and other stakeholders expressed gratitude to the Edo State government for taking security issues to their doorsteps. They also appealed to the government to strengthen the vigilante network for optimal performance. In all that Governor Godwin Obaseke has been doing in the states, um, as part of his mandate, making Edo State great again, mega, you know, um, the residents and indigenous have always pointed out that uh, in as much as um, those policies those uh, um, projects everything that he's rolling out all of those things in as much as they are beautiful and they are very good but security the issue of security is a priority is top on the list because if the community if the uh, area is not safe 
all of those initiatives that he's rolling out they are not useful they won't be useful to the people because the number one thing um, people want to be safe if they are not safe they will not want to step out of their doors and then um, all of those things um, he's doing they are not uh, they will not be beneficial so the governor has actually listened he's been listening to the calls and the, 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 the calls being made by the people that um, he needs to work seriously on the security issue to ensure that um, the community is safe for everyone that's the way we are seeing things currently the way things are going president Mohammed Buhari does not have any intention to actually um, deal decisively with this insecurity. Remember, he was told by the 36 state um, speakers to declare bandits as terrorists. To do that, Buhari just uh, he kept mum as though he did not hear, and it was Sheikh Gumi who was now speaking that um, if that ever happens, that um, the country Nigeria will end, that this and that will happen. So we've all seen that um, President Mohamed Buhari is not ready to deal decisively with the insecurity that we are all facing. Our motorways they are not safe. To even travel from one state to another is a nightmare. Everyone is so scared for their lives. To even visit loved ones to travel to other parts of the country. Country. Truly, truly, very is a truly sad one. Well, Governor Godin Obaseki, what he has decided to do right now is to uh, form a collaboration and to see how to fight crime, not to wait for President Mohamed Buhari because help is not coming. Help is not coming from there. As the governor of the state, he's the chief security officer of the state and he has to um, uh, heed to the call of the people and also do the right thing by uh, um, setting up um, these uh, uh, different security outfits. So what he's done right now is that he's forming a collaboration with um, the, the policemen and the local vigilantes that they have to work together, exchange information, exchange sensitive uh, information that can help to cut down uh, um, the, the criminality rate and everything. So when he actually he went to um, Ovia North East local government area of the state during an enlarged town hall meeting and to find a lasting solution to the security situation in the area because this community, they've been raising their voice, they've been raising concern. It's not just Ovia and North, it's the whole of um, Edo State and mind you, it's not just Edo State, the whole country, we are all currently in this same boat facing this insecurity issue but in Edo State and in this community, they raised their voice and Governor Godin Obaseki went down to a town hall meeting to see how this can be ended. He was represented by his deputy, Philip Shaibu, and that was where um, he, he reiterated that the administration, um, Governor Godin Obaseki's administration, is really, really concerned about the safety of lives and is guaranteeing them that um, their lives, uh, that that is his number one priority. As a matter of fact, he swore an oath to defend lives and property, and that is what he's going to do to fight crime. He's, he's told the community what he's doing, that right now they are collaborating, they are forming serious synergy to see that um, this crime, um, the crimes, all of this criminality, they come to an end. But um, um, on their part, the, the the governor told the people that they still have a role to play in as much as um, um, the state government have to put things in place, equip the local vigilantes, uh, ensure that um, they are well motivated, they are properly mobilized. But um, the, the residents, the indigents have their own role to play. Well, this is a brilliant one. We can see that the governor is uh, actually listening to the calls um, of the people. Let's hear your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.